Alright, hey guys, what is up? This is Mike, Scream, Screaming Samurai Studio, Samurai Geek Designs, part of the Geek Ventures, uh, part time contributor to Imperial Shipyard, yada yada yada. If you can hear that music in the background, that is. I don't know if it's being captivated. Marcus? Marcus. Alright, so that's why I'm doing models right now because as you can see Marcus <laughs> As you can see, I've got all the time in the world to do it now. So anyway, so back to this guy right here. This is I guess what you can call my first commission piece. And I made an addition to it that now that I look at it now. I'm not quite sure if I'm happy with it, because uh, it is not quite how I expected. Let me see if I can get a good shot, but... I added barrels to the, uh, the cannons here. They are open, but they're probably a little too large, so I don't know how... Uh, I'm really not sure how uh, how Jerry's gonna feel about it, so uh, I guess I'm ready for painting. First thing I'm gonna tackle are the engines on this thing, and um, I really hope uh, Jerry understood what what I was telling him when I say I am I am an embellisher when it comes to uh, to doing a lot of paint jobs. He he saw my work over at uh, the NDG SciFest, and. Uh, you should have a pretty good idea that I do not quite follow the rules when it comes to making something look like it did on screen. I mean, I'm going to follow all the colors as best I can, but uh, there are still going to be some additions to what I do <laughs> to the uh, overall model and, and, well, the barrels, that's one of them. So, uh, again, I'm not quite sure how he's going to feel about that because I'm not quite sure how I feel about them because they are a little large you shouldn't you shouldn't see them in the profile like that so I don't know if I can just cut them flush because then that will change the look of the barrel uh, so anyway that's where I'm at on, on that aspect I'm going to start painting these uh, again as I was saying before I hope Jerry understands that I'm going to go a little different from what you see on screen, so I'm going to do these in a, probably a mix of natural steel, gunmetal, and blue gunmetal, just for some heat effects. And then the uh, the end pieces here are going to go into darker gunmetal and black uh, finish, kind of like a Spanish iron look, but uh, still. Uh, nice metal finish to it so again embellishment here is going to be the hey is going to be the the metal look that I'm going to put on these engines eh, only because I think that's what they would really look like uh, so that's where I'm at on the Buck Rogers Thunderfighter the next time you see this I'm probably going to have the engines done and I'm going to have the base coat on hopefully I'm really loving this thing. Uh, this is, uh, I guess, what you can consider one of my first, well, my first commission build ever for somebody else. Uh, I do not get to keep this, unfortunately, even though I, I've been I've been searching for one of these, for one that I can afford. I don't want to spend more than 115 bucks if I'm just going to open it up and build it. I'll even... If I can even find some of the uh, the half built ones, I'll I'll uh, I'll definitely look to scoring for uh, scoring uh, well scoring it. But uh, I'm not gonna lie, money's still a little tight, so uh, I'll probably won't be making any impulse purchases uh, anytime soon. Maybe after August. <laughs> I don't know if my wife heard that or that, but uh, that's where I met on this guy. Uh, the Buck Rogers Thunderfighter, I have not 
uh, taking the tape off. This is the uh, tape that came with, uh, well, when Jerry gave it to me, this is the tape that or he had already had on there, so he already had on, excuse me. So I don't know what's inside. I don't know if he's painted the, in the, the cockpit, but I hope it's going to match what I'm going to do on the the exterior of this. So, uh, anyway, more on this one later, guys. I will see you soon. Take care, have fun, peace out.